Today we're going to do a little test of the R-Max 1000 two-seat sport model. New tires, new shocks, new color, new wheels. Come on along, it's going to be fun. We're, we're heading up to the, uh, we're on the Crown King Trail north of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, going to put it through the test and just see how it works, see how it compares to the, the other R-Maxes and um, let you know what we think. Noticed the tires. The tires are way way grippier compared to the the stock Maxxis carnivores. Um, under acceleration and braking, excellent. We even threw in two-wheel drive just to see if it was if it would get slippery like most cars do. But um, really good traction um, all around on the tire. Really really stoked with their performance. Super durable. We hammered about 30 of the miles in really sharp rocks and uh, didn't let up and haven't sliced a sidewall, haven't had a puncture, really stoked with that. The shocks, they're really set up for going really fast and doing really hard, like hard bumps, hard rocky sections. So we actually softened them up a little bit. We went about five turns 
out on the slow speed compression, which, which kind of gives it a little more body roll, a little more comfort at slow speed. And then we also did six clicks on the uh, high speed compression, just so, you know, if, if you're not jumping it, which we typically don't jump them, um, it's a little plusher landing than, than the way they're set up stock at, at about 12 clicks in or out right in the middle. Um, overall, really stoked with it. I mean, definitely is a step above the uh, LME, LE models and the XTR models. Um, we do wish it had a uh, the GPS, but there's room for it, or you could put an aftermarket GPS in there in its, in its place, which is, uh, it's cool that they have the spot. Um, really stoked that, that Yamaha came out with another option for the R-Max. You know, you have the, the XTR with the winch and, and uh, you know, the better skid plates and things like that. The LE with the, the stereo and that sort of thing. But this is more for the pure sport guy that really wants to haul the mail and have a good time and, and have just that extra bit of protection with the bead locks and the 10 ply GBC tires. Really stoked with it. Um, we're going to write this up for our March issue of UTV Action. You can check that out. Either subscribe or check it out online at www.utvactionmag.